Hi, welcome to my channel Mystical 3D. Today I'm going to show you how to create and render a turntable. It's a really good way to showcase your 3D model. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial so please don't skip this video and watch it till the end. At the end of this tutorial you will be able to create a 3D turntable like this. Let's get started. Step 1. Right now we have this house which I created a long time back. First I'm gonna adjust the camera angle and I'll try to fit this house in the frame. Step 2. After setting the camera angle select your 3D model or a group which contains 3D geometry. Switch the menu to the animation. After that go to visualize option and click on that little window symbol beside the create turntable. The animation turntable option window will pop up. It will ask you the number of frames. I want 15 seconds duration. As I have set the frame rate 24 frames per second, I'm gonna type 360 frames. Then hit the turntable. Step 3. Now a new group appeared in the outliner which contains a turntable camera. Let's create a quick play blast and see how it looks. You will notice an ease in and ease out in the turntable. Some people might not want that. I'll quickly show you how to remove it. Go to Windows. Animation Editors. Then click on Graph Editor. Now select the group in the outliner which contains a turntable camera. Click on the curve. Go to Tangents, then click on Linear. Now the turntable will happen at constant speed. Step 4. Let's render this turntable. In the status line click the little gear symbol to open render settings. In the common tab set the image format. I'm gonna set PNG. Change single frame to name.hash.ext. Under frame range set the start frame and end frame. In my case the start frame is 0 and the end frame is 360. Select the renderable camera as turntable camera 1. Select the image size. After that switch to the Arnold renderer tab and set the samples depending on your system. This is for a tutorial so I'm going with default samples. Then switch to AOV's tab. Click on add custom. Type AO and hit create. Then go to Attribute Editor. Under the Custom AOV option, click on that checkerbox symbol beside the shader. Under Arnold menu click on Shader and select AI Ambient Occlusion. Now for the wireframe AOV we have to repeat the same steps. Click on Add Custom, type Wireframe and hit Create. Then go to the Attribute Editor. Click on that little checkerbox symbol beside the shader. Under Arnold menu select AI Wireframe Shader. In Attribute Editor we can define the wireframe look. First we have to open the Arnold Render View. Go to Beauty and choose the wireframe. Now in the Attribute Editor, set Edge Type and Line Width. Then click on a little checkerbox symbol beside the fill color. Under Arnold menu, select AI Ambient Occlusion. Step 5. Switch menu to Rendering. Go to the Render tab and click on the little window symbol beside the render sequence. Set Current Camera as Turntable Camera 1. After that choose the Output File location. And hit the Render Sequence and Close. Don't worry about black screen in the Render View. It shows beauty pass in render view and we don't have any lights in our scene. Step 6. 
Once the rendering finished go to the location where you rendered it and import those image sequences in any video editing software. Finally add some transition effects and render it in a video format. Hope you find this video helpful. If you like this video please do like, subscribe and press the bell icon. So you will not miss any informative videos as well as it will also help me to complete my first 1000 subscribers. Also you can follow me on Instagram art page where I post cool 3D artworks. If you have any doubts or if you are facing any issues with Maya you can comment down below. I'll try to make a video on it. Thanks for watching.